I'm Nicole with Netbook News down here at CompuTech 2009. I'm joined by Henrik Lexo from Opera. How are you today? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Pretty good. Now, can you give me a brief rundown of Opera and its devices? Well, yeah. So Opera, we we a browser maker, and we have been making browsers for 15 years now, um, targeting every kind of devices. So not just uh, your desktop browser, but all kind of mobile devices, set-top boxes, portable media players, uh, typical things like like uh, game consoles or or whatever ever kind of things you have uh, with the screen or can connect to the screen. So what we what we're focusing on is to have the web everywhere. It's not just like a web for for your desktop or a web for your mobile. It's a web that is it's connected as one web. So this is our our main goal, and we want to get the web everywhere. This this is our main focus, right? Now I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have some good success with that with the release of Opera 10. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so we're quite excited about that. We have, we have uh, uh, we are coming out with Opera 10 uh, beta now, and it's uh, it's going to be quite big because we're adding some new cool features there. Uh, one of them being Opera Turbo. So we had had the snapshot of Opera Turbo on on Labs Opera Com uh, a couple of months now, but. Um, uh, what you really can see there is how we can use uh, the, the knowledge we have from U Opera Mini, which is our server client solution, and utilize that into our desktop environment. So basically what we do is that we, we, uh, we proxy the page and we compress the page and super optimize it for your uh, um, kind of laptop and uh, netbooks. Net netbook? uh, netbooks, exactly. <laughs> exactly, like netbooks. So we can we can really make it optimized uh, experience when you're connected with a slower connection than your uh, cable, for instance, right? Now, what do, you, what do you think that Opera Turbo can offer a netbook than a, a traditional browser could? Well, so Turbo itself it really offers you uh, compression and speed. These are the two major things uh, when you are uh, on a slower connection. Two major features is uh, compression, and it typically, if you're connected with a 3G and you pay per megabyte or kilobyte, that is very important for you as a, as, as a, as a user, right? That you, you don't get charged much, but also that you, you do get a lot more speed because you can compress this like 60 to 80 percent. It's like it's a lot of compression. Uh, you, you take away a lot of data which is not really needed. Um, and we do that on the server side, optimized for Opera, of course. So. Well, why don't we take a look and you can explain a little bit yeah. further <coughs> about how exactly Opera Turbo works. Yeah, so let's have a look here. Uh, if you uh, can have a look at my computer here. So on the <coughs> left side there, we have an Opera running Opera uh, Turbo. This is Opera 10 Beta. On the right side, we have an older version of Opera. And just to show what we do um, to, to mimic the, uh, the slower connection, we have this uh, application which uh, limits the speed on both of these Opera instances. And we limit it to 100 kilobits per second, which is uh, typically like a 2G, maybe a 2G, 2.5G environment in, in a real sense. So what I'm going to do here now is that I'm going to start these two Operas at the same time. And you, you can see that um, uh, the speed will be significant, and you can also see the compression rate. So first I'm deleting the cache, uh, so there's nothing in the, <coughs> in the memory. It's completely clean. And we're going to try to do um, slash dots. So uh, slash dots here and slash dots here. I'm going to start it by clicking as soon as uh, gi giving the, the non-turbo a head start here. I'm going to click like that. <coughs> And uh, within very short time, you will see uh, usable data. You can already scroll around here. And within, um, within 10 to 15 seconds, the page is completely loaded and ready to use and finish loading. While this is still on a 2G environment, the regular browser, it takes a lot of time. And it can take up to around one minute before you finish loading this page. Maybe we should go for a coffee while this is still yeah, loading. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, running around the building. I actually did that one for a demo. I run around the room uh, uh, showing that I, I said it really takes some time before you mm -hmm. can uh, do the whole thing. So here we go. Of course, this is also running Opera, and uh, it's one of the fastest browsers out there. So this is not really the, the browsing speed. This is, this is about uh, the connection speed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's pretty exciting that you could actually 
increase your, your web speed. Yeah. Uh, for, for a device like a netbook, something like this yeah. would almost seem mandatory. Can you talk about what you guys have going on with netbooks right now? Oh, yeah. So, so I mean, what, what we have do done with Opera is that we have been focusing on all kinds of devices at the same, uh, at all the time, as I mentioned. And one of the things we learned about that is how to optimize for devices that are not Oops, uh, that are not uh, not uh, like connected to uh, power all the time, or that, that are like you have to take care of battery, you have to take care of speed, you have to take care of screen size. So w we have that knowledge coming from like mobile space or device space, and when we when we we take that knowledge and sort of leverage that into the notebook uh, uh, space, we we can see that okay, having a super optimized uh, layout engine like the Opera Presto. Uh, the core of Opera, um, we we know that this is consuming less CPU cycles when you render a page, so you, you actually save battery that way, mm -hmm. right? The same thing, you have all these neat features that are really helpful for you as a, using a smaller screen. A notebook typically has a little bit smaller screen than your your laptop or your, your desktop computer, so therefore we have this very neat zooming functionalities with the Opera invented by some years ago, plus and minus zooming, you can very easily zoom to fit the screen, etc. So it's very, very thought of to sort of fit within the, the form factor of, of typically things like networks. Okay, well, Henrik, yeah. thanks so much for taking the time to run us through Opera Turbo. Yeah. I can definitely see where all netbook enthusiasts would love to get their hands on this, uh, and I they can get it today. Yeah, absolutely, and I hope everyone will download this. This is very exciting stuff. Right. And this has been Nicole for Netbook News, down here at Computex 2009.